What is good guys, back on multi playoffs, this time ABI versus Redemption for round 2 and looking at these teams I'm expecting a fake out low punny for sure because I don't think ABI has a Scarf on this team, uh, it's most likely Rock Strand, Spikes Pharaoh and then an SD Glisco with Roost and Earthquake, most likely Ice Fang in the last slot because outside of a potential Asset Armor Reuniclus that can maybe beat Zygarde, he looks kind of weak to Zygarde, then uh, most likely a Rocky Helmet Tornadus. Uh, like fake out high jump, high jump kick return slash frustration and the last move on low he could be power up punch onko a quick attack one of the one of those three pretty much on redemption side um probably av tang mega more wild z move on either the coco or the curum and then the landers looks scarf to me but i'm not sure about that and yeah trend is probably leftovers on redemption side i think we're gonna see u-turn or a volt switch here turn one from the coco and if abi has rocks i think you should just go for rocks uh, because like rocks are great for the curum and rocks gets you guarantee gets you something out of the turn guaranteed um, Like let's say you magma storm into a train that could be bad if you earth power into lando that could be bad But rocks just gets you something guaranteed out of the turn I think rocks is the play as he u-turns into his landris which could live anyone hit outside of like Z and we see it's leftovers trend um, on ABR side so that means the Z move is most likely on the reuniclus redemption predicts a switch into like um Glisco or Torn there and goes for rocks and ABA predicts and goes for will -O and catches the Landorus. I'm really confused um, I don't know what Landorus set this is because I thought it would be Choice Scarf maybe um, So he either doesn't have a Choice Scarf user or he's Choice Scarf Coco or he's Choice Scarf Rocks Landorus um, If he's Choice Scarf Rocks Landorus he has to switch out here. Um, I still think ABA is gonna scout for it ABA can pretty much go to whatever he wants to um, like this Landris should be offensive, like he has Tangrus to check Zygarde, so it doesn't need to be defensive. It also doesn't need to be defensive Z Fly because he has Coco for Halucha and Mawile. So I definitely think Z is on either the Coco or the Kyurem, like I already said. Maybe I can pretty much go to whatever he wants to, and Rick Redemption, if he's locked in, like he has to either go to his own Heatran here or he has to go into his Kyurem. Uh, he doesn't really have another play. I assume he might go to Kyurem because. They can probably live a Magma Storm since ABI is leftovers on this trend and not Z-Move. I'm um, actually surprised to see that because ABI has been spamming modest Z-Move trend. But yeah, it makes me think the Z-Move is either on Reuniclus or Torn. Most likely on the Reuniclus. Uh, because this team is actually quite weak to Kartana and definitely appreciates the bulky Rocky Helmet Tornadus. But yeah, um, ABI is definitely going to switch here just in case this Landorus is not locked in. There's no reason to let the trend take a Quake. Even if the trend can potentially live a Quake because the Landorus is burned, there's no reason to risk it. So I think we're going to see a switch from ABI ex exactly. And Redemption switching to Kyurem. He either predicts the Glisco to come out and he's a GOAT. Like Kyurem covered the Glisco and covered the Torn. Um, but I also think he's potentially choice Scarf Lock into Rocks and he had to make that switch. Now ABI doesn't have a great switch in for this. Um, because obviously Trend can take Ice Beams. But Trend cannot take fusion bolts and terrain at all and also would get destroyed by potential earth power. Um, so he does go in the Pharaoh Thumb. We're probably just going to see Ice Beam here. And now we will see if he's Life Orb or, is he, or if he's Z move. And he is Life Orb. Wow. So that does a lot to the Pharaoh Thorn. And um, Redemption. If he has Courage to hit the Pharaoh Thorn with, he can just go for that, like HP Fire. If he doesn't have anything to hit the Pharaoh Thorn with, um, he can probably pull a switch out here into like Heatran or maybe Morwell. I'm expecting to have either Fire Thing on the Morwell or HP Fire on the Curum because he has Mons like Coco and Lando and Tang like they are annoyed by Ferrothorn so he wants some sort of lure for Ferrothorn like either Fire Thing Morwell or HP Fire Curum it's what I'm thinking. Maybe I goes for Protect he Roost and predicts him to go ha I don't know I think he pre just predicted him to potentially scout for HP Fire or to have Protect um, fire play by Redemption there, and he does reveal HP fire and he just kills the Pharaoh from wow, wow, hot. So Redemption is playing well. Also, um, yeah, like I guess he predicted either a Leech Seed on the turn he roosted, or he predicted ABR to not go for Gyroball. Also, I don't think ABR does have Gyroball on this, I think he's just Protect Power with Leech Seed Spikes on the Pharaoh Thorn. Um, he was never gonna Gyro there if he has it, well he could've, he could've technically, but I don't think he was gonna Gyroball into a potential Heatran switch. So I get why he protected and their roost was hard there. Now Reuniclus is definitely Z move, I think, since Trend was lefties. So Redemption is either gonna Ice Beam here or pull a hard switch into like, if he has Taunt Trend, he can go to Trend. Uh, otherwise he can go to Morwile. But yeah, since the Curum revealed Life Orb, the Z move is most likely on the Coco. Uh, or I guess it could be on the Trend. I don't think his Trend came out yet. But yeah, ABS gonna run a Kalki. I think Ice Beam should do like, 
around 60-ish. He does 59, so does he go for command? Yeah, he does go for command. This next ice beam might be a roll, but it's most likely in ABR's favor, so Redemption probably doesn't want to stay in here. So we're going to see a switch here. ABR's going to go for recover. Um, so the potential place he has is um, Coco to threaten this with a Z-move, or Morwile to threaten this with like a play rough or with a knockoff. Um, I guess Tren if it has Taunt, but Tren is a bit risky because this Renukas might have Focus Blast. We don't know that yet. Um, it's definitely a command. I don't actually think it has Acid Armor because he has no T-Spike support. But I guess he could have Status Move on Tren. He already revealed Wisp. Yeah, he already revealed, revealed Wisp Tren. But yeah, now um, this I think is a roll to kill the Z-Move. And does ABR live it? He does not live it and he just loses his Reuniclus. Now you could say he should have gone into the um, Gliscor. That was Z-Wild Charge, right? That was Z-Wild Charge and I think that was a roll. Otherwise ABR would not have stayed in. And I think that was like a 50-50 type roll. I did 91. I think it would have done like... Um, yeah, I'm gonna open the Kalk real quick here on the side. But yeah, pretty much uh, Lopani can obviously scatter Coco out. That was Z Wild Charge, and he only had a Command Boost. He didn't have, um, like, he didn't have Asset Armor Boost. I assume the Reuniclus didn't have Asset Armor. But yeah, now um, we're gonna see a switch here. He could probably um, go into his Landris or into his Tangros. It just depends. Oh, he stays in with the Coco and lets it take the fake out. Uh, so is he just gonna sack the Coco? Because ABR is obviously faster with the Lopani, and he's just gonna click Return here. And yeah, he's just go Landris. I thought he would have gone Landris the last turn on the um, on the obvious fake out slash heart attack. I guess if ABR returned and the Coco lived that, uh, and Redemption and if ABR like if Redemption caught ABR and ABR didn't go for fake out, staying in with Coco could have worked out. So he's toxic. He's toxic rocks Landris, which if he is choice scarf, that's a really weird set with toxic rocks U turn and earthquake. But yeah, toxic on Landris is what is that for? It helps him hit Torn. Um, I think it also hits um, like bulky, like it hits Tapu Bulu that one likes to come in on Landris, which helps Coco wear it down, I guess. So Zim of Coco can put him work. That's cool. It hits like Tangrowth, whatever. What, what else wants to come in on Landris? Like it hits a lot of ones that wants to come in on Landris. Like I guess if there's bulky waters, Pex is not really affected by it. What else is there? Slowbro, in case that you face that, I guess it hits that. But yeah, fake outs there, um, just in case Redemption has Protect, he doesn't hard high jump kick, so good play by ABR. And he's probably just gonna throw the Landris out, and ABR is just gonna click high jump kick here. No reason to click anything else for ABR, as long as he hits, he's completely fine. And Landris goes down to um, burn. Now Morwell can come out here. And uh, yeah, I think Morwell or Tangrowth are pretty much the play. One of the two has to come out here. And yeah, Morwell gets comes out, gets off the Intimidate on the low pony. Still gotta run that cult though for the Z move. And yeah, now ABR might go into his Heatran here. Now, uh, the Lopani can potentially win the game for ABR, so I don't think he wants to stay in here. Um, I could see. <clears throat> I could see just a player of honestly. So that's gonna Gliss score there. Um, he doesn't wanna go Heatran and. I think ABR last week in OT, he played uh, Mimolet and his Heatran got Brick Break on the switch. Brick Breaked. So Glisco comes out and I guess he can roost this off, but not really because player is doing a lot. Earthquake also doesn't Oko more well from full. So Redemption might predict him to roost and player off again. Um, I don't think ABI wants to Earthquake here because if he Earthquakes, his Glisco is super low and Redemption can potentially switch out into Tang or Kyurem. Tang or Kyurem can both take Earthquakes. Even though Rocks up, which hit the Kyurem, I'm pretty sure it's outside of range from Quake. So he player offs again, which does 65 again. Gets the same roll as turn 16. And you guys can see ABI is getting a bit lower, so eventually he will have to attack. He cannot keep roosting this off. So he goes hard into Q and they're expecting either roost or earthquake. And he can eat up that earthquake, and now Redemption is just gonna. I mean, I guess he can have hard ice beam because hard, hard ice beam, like, pretty much bobs whatever ABI wants to send out besides Heatran. And. Um, hmm, I don't know if he wants to go Heatran here. Um, where yeah, Roost is also a potential play, but I think you are better off just hard attacking here um, in case ABR wants to pull a switch into like low pony. Hard attacking um, is better for you and doesn't let low pony in. So he goes hard low pony, predicting a Roost. Redemption just ice beams. Low pony lives that barely, and low pony is just gonna go for return slash high jump kick here. Um, like high jump kick is overall better because it hits everything harder. The only one that the high jump kick doesn't hit harder than return is Coco. Okay, he does go return because he doesn't want to risk missing. I, I understand that play. And Redemption, uh, yeah, he was just going to sack off the Kyurem because Kyurem dies to rocks. Um, so yeah, ABI had no reason to risk high jump kicking. But in, in theory, it hits everything harder outside of Coco, which destro gets destroyed by frustration anyway. And it's slower than Lopani. But yeah, now the Mawile is 
or the Tangress has to come out again. But yeah, let me run the Kalk from earlier, I'm super behind. So Reuniclus, Tapu Koko, OU Wild Charge Z. So um, naive nature, it seems odd, but yeah, let me put that in Z move. So I don't know ABS Reuniclus spread, but it says 83.7 to 98.5, and I remember it died at 91, right? So depends if ABI has a bit less defense or if he has around his defense. It was like a 50-50 type roll. If he had less book, I guess it was more so in Redemption's favor, like 60-40 in his favor. So tank comes out. Um, the slow pony dies to rocks, but ABI can still defog them away. So he doesn't have to sack this. Uh, he definitely wants to switch out here into either the Torn or the Heatran. Probably Torn, exactly. So do we see a predict? We do see a predict HPIs. Now Torn is most likely just going to fog them away because he needs that low pony around. And if Re Redemption can live any hit, but I don't know if he wants to risk staying in with the tank growth. Because um, like, this is most likely bulky Helmet Torn, which uh, we have even seen ABR run no Hurricane on his Torn. Um, I know that because Blunder used one of the teams that ABR used last week in Alive, and the Torn was actually U-turn Heatwave knock of Defog without Hurricane. Because Mans is like, I'm not trying to miss, so I'm not just not running it. So he predicts the Defog, I think, and he knew he could live any one hit, so he goes for that. HP Ice and picks off the Torn with the Poison. Now the Tren, or yeah, Tren has to come out for ABR here, and I think he just will a wisp here, because Madness Storm does not kill AV Tang Growth anyway, and um, Will O Wisp has Tang Growth attack, which means uh, Heatran can live Earthquake quite easily with a Will O Wisp. Uh, even from full, it can live a uh, um, Earthquake anyway, but Wisping makes it so he can live it even easier. But he does go into Tren predicting that. And now ABS is either gonna go into his Gliscor or he's gonna oh he gets up the rocks okay and Redemption goes for off power ABS bulky trend and lives that off power. Now um, he does have a flash fire boost so he can potentially predict ABS to switch into Gliscor here because um, I'm pretty sure ABS off if ABS off power it would not kill the opposing trend. We also don't know if he has it so it's like more likely that ABS is gonna switch. He just off powers again. Now Gliscor is either gonna. Earthquake or ABI can go back into his Heatran. I mean, going back into Trend kind of covers the tank growth, and it also kind of covers um, Redemption staying in because you would get some extra leftovers recovery on that. Um, as he does go back into Trend, yeah, because I guess he has to try to he wants to try to get some more health back on that because um, yeah, then he can potentially live a hit uh, later in the game. Like if he keeps getting lefties back and he wisps the tank, maybe he can live an Earthquake. And now he just Earthquakes and kills Redemption's Trend. And uh, this game is looking to be really close. Coco comes out and he has to click HPIs here. Otherwise, this play makes no sense if he doesn't have HPIs. So his U-turn, Wild Charge, HPIs, and the last move is either Roost or Defog. I'm thinking it might be Defog, um, but no Roost is also weird. HPIs doesn't even kill, so ABI eats that up. Uh, obviously, since this Coco doesn't have much special attack investment or maybe no special attack investment at all, uh, Glisco can live that. And now I think... Uh, I think you just Giga Drain here if you Redemption because if uh, ABI wants to Roost, you hit it harder. ABI predicts that and goes hard into Heatran. And now ABI clicks Magma Storm, I think. Or does he click Wisp? I think he clicks Magma Storm, but like, that's m obviously less accurate, but he needs the big damage. Like, Magma Storm either kills the Marble or brings the Tangros low. I think Redemption has to stay in and click Earthquake here. Yeah, he has to stay in and click Earthquake. Um, because like if he switches here, I think he's in a losing position, so he needs to stay and just click Earthquake. And yeah, ABS is either gonna attack Magma Storm, or um, I don't think going back into Glisco gets ABR that much. Uh, going Glisco on an Earthquake, and yeah, he had to fog for his low pony, which is at like five percent, uh, so it can come in and doesn't die to rocks. And he, he has Lava Plume, he doesn't have Magma Storm. I don't, if he revealed that already, then it's my bad. But yeah, since he's Leftovers, I guess that makes sense that he's not Magma Storm. Yeah, ABI like switches around. Sometimes he uses, since he's Plume, so he was probably more of a Spadef trend. I should have, I guess, potentially seen that one coming since um, he lived the off power from the opposing trend. And now Lopani is going to click High Jump Kick, I think, um, because you want to hit the low, the Marwell as hard as possible. Exactly. And now, um, let's see if he like plays around the sucker punch here which means he can either go hard Gliscor or maybe fake out to play around the sucker punch uh, which sucker punch would obviously kill low bunny from five percent even though it's resisted and he does have quick attack to play around sucker punch and there's the sucker and now he can just quick attack again uh, i guess redemption can potentially go into tangros here because quick attack plus rocks might do a bit less than regenerator heals so if he goes tangros here on quick attack which abr probably has to go for because he obviously doesn't want to get sucker punch and lose the low bunny um 
I think he's forced to cook attack again. So if Redemption, he can run the Kalki here. If Tangrus attacks less from quick attack plus rocks, then he can go hard Tangrus here on quick attack. As he does do that, I think that's like 15% maybe. 14, yeah. So he, now he just took 26 or 27 with rocks plus quick attack. And now he can go back, sack the Mawal because the Mawal dies to rocks anyway. And then he got a little bit of extra health. I think like 7 or 8% is what he gets extra out of the regenerator here. So good play there. And yeah, ABR, um, how much does this do? Let me open the Kalk. I'm really curious. Like, I don't know a redemption spread, but I'm just gonna Kalk standard Tangrowth. Oh, I pulled in Reuniclus in the Kalk, my bad. Uh, you guys obviously can't see it. I have a second laptop here at the left to my, run my Kalks. So high jump kick does 40, 40, 51, which means uh, he has to switch out here to get the regenerator because otherwise, High jump kick puts the Tangrowth in range where um, Glisco can probably see, probably kill it with like um, Ice Fang or Knock of whatever he has. I don't know if the Glisco already revealed the last move, but it has to be Ice Fang, like I said earlier at preview. Especially now that we know that the Renook is. Um, okay, doubles back in the Glisco, there's the Sag. Okay, okay. Especially now that we know that Renook doesn't have Asset Armor, most likely, since it's Z move. I mean, it could still have Asset Armor, but I don't. Yeah, actually, it could still have Asset Armor, I don't know that. But yeah, now he's just going to get ready to get some health back and kill the Gliscor. Because uh, that extra health is really important for redemption. Because now ABI has to go for fake out. And now high jump kick does 44 to 51.9. So this is a roll in redemption's favor. If he's standard AV Tangers and he lives on 4%, ABI gets like a mid roll, like kind of lower than a mid roll even. Redemption wins game 1 versus ABR. A really close game. I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you with game 2 in a bit. Good god this was fun. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly sure if the last move on Reuniclus is a courage move or asset armor because he has Wisp on trend to hit dark types so it could um, still be asset armor on the Reuniclus. But yeah, ooh, the chat is going wild, that's like the best part about these games. And yeah, I'll see you guys with game 2 later. Hope you all enjoyed and make sure to hit the like button because I'm putting in the work for you guys. Goodbye friends.